Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome, and please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell below, get all the updates. Uh, very excited for today's beer. It's from Prison City, a brewery I quite like in Auburn, New York. Uh, prison City, because they have a prison there. It was, uh, if I remember correctly, it was the, um, they popularized a kind of, like, way to interact with the inmates and kind of, like, run the program. And I think they did the white and black stripes, like, like an old school, like, DuckTales in like other cartoons and TV shows and movies. But anyway, I think that was that prison that did that. So anyway, whatever. Auburn, New York, Prison City. Um, this is Riot IPA. I have not had this. I think they opened a new, and it looks like it from the side, uh, brewery um, where they can, so you can brew more beer and uh, distribute more. Um, and they've done a Mass Riot. They have like a Riot series of beers and Mass Riot's kind of like some of those Massachusetts New England style IPAs. And that one was the one a few years ago that won the Paste Magazine's Blind um, Taste Test. So they definitely, you know, know what they're doing. Uh, but yeah, I've not had this beer. I have had that one, though. This was canned three weeks ago. 6.8% ABV. Again, it's just called Riot IPA from Prison City. And uh, yeah, cool can art, proper glassware, courtesy of my friend Rick's widow. When he passed away, I reached out to her. And I said, hey, the last time I hung out with him was at Prison City, and he bought a glass. Do you mind if I have it? And she was super cool. I was like, yeah, of course, you have, you know, connection to the brewery and, and that memory with him. So thank you to Andrea for that. Really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, shout out to Rick. All right. Yeah, I mean, it looks in that realm of New England style. It's definitely more of an orange... Uh, yellow color, you know, you can't see through it, but it's not like super crazy, murky or hazy. Uh, it doesn't look like, you know, uh, butternut squash soup, as the kids say. But yeah, look, looks definitely like a hazy IPA, a little over a finger of white fluffy head. Looks good. Let's see about the aroma. Sweet citrus, maybe some stone fruit. Yeah, it's like candied mango, some peach. I, I think even a little bit of like apricot, like dried out apricot. Right, pineapple. There's a lot of hops you could tell me that I'd be like, oh yeah, I can see that from the aroma. Um, yeah, it doesn't say the hop, so, but um, yeah, there's a lot that I'd be like, yep, probably in there. So I'm thinking it's not a single hop, but uh, super curious. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. I like that. It, it reminds me of other beers I've had. 6.8, so it's definitely an IPA, not in your double IPA. They're not calling it a double IPA. The reason I mentioned that, good level of bitterness. Uh, if you watch a lot of my reviews, that stuff is something I talk about with, you know, hoppy beers, uh, what's the level of bitterness. Good level, not overpowering. Drinks like a, you know, New England, good mouthfeel, and all that kind of stuff. There's a good orange pith approaching zest so if you like you know as i do citrusy you know ipas um it, it scratches that itch it's not as sweet as the aroma which again is not super surprising given the style and the abv and the fact that it's not you know a super sweet tasting beer There is this other familiar thing. Almost like a hoppy caramel from the sweetness of it. That's not the, the other thing. Unlike how I got like a lot of sweet fruit in the aroma, the taste is is a very unripened peach. It's not that juicy kind of a thing. The bitterness, really, again, I know I've said this, really comes through in, in a citrus 
uh, way. And, and I will add this, so not in a West Coast grapefruity kind of way, but there is the, the orange pith zest thing is approaching grapefruit, but wouldn't be full on. And that's part of the, the familiar taste that I'm, I'm still kind of not fully describing what I'm getting. It, it's a tricky beer to, it's good. I, I don't know if I've said that, like I'm enjoying this. I only bought the one can, but for 6.8%, um, you know, I, I could drink a couple of these in a row and, and uh, it, that would be a good thing. <laughs> so I'll put it that way. What is that other flavor? Like in my head, I'm trying to cross off. Like it's, it's not blueberry. I can see a little strawberry, actually. I mentioned berries out loud. Um, it's not overly pineapple. It's not overly mango or other, you know, tropical fruits. It's not a pear or apple thing. I don't know. I, I might just have to not say it on camera because I can't pull it. Marmalade, which makes sense because the orange. Okay, like orange marmalade. That's the other thing. <laughs> okay, good, because I was going to be really annoyed if I didn't pull it. All right. Well, I got excited again. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a good beer. It, it is a good beer. I got this at a local beer store. I would buy this again. I would love to drink this on a hot day. Happens to be a oddly hot day for um, the middle to late uh, September, it's like uh, over a little over 80 degrees. So definitely a nice beer for the day. I'm liking it, not loving it, uh, but I would definitely drink it again and buy it again, which I think is you know kind of telling of my thoughts. Um, have you had this? Have you had any of the other riots uh, beers they've done? Mass riot, riot in Vermont, riot in 29, I think is the year on that or the number on that. Um, but anyway, yeah, super curious. What are your thoughts on Prison City? They have a really good reputation. Their food's good if you go there, and I'm a big fan of theirs. So let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. Um, I mean, Instagram untapped. No hype beer reviews at both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.